This Michelin Pilot Small 5 review in hot dry conditions have come to the uh, Athelmuthus Valleys just outside uh, Thessaloniki in Greece. To assess the tyres, I'm going to look at a few different aspects. I'm going to look at ride comfort, the noise, uh, the turning response, acceleration grip, braking grip, cornering grip in general, and then just my general feelings of the tyre. I'll start off with ride comfort. I'd say ride comfort on them is excellent. It's They take the edge off every little bump in the road. Nothing is like harsh. At no point do the tyres feel like they're made of wood or anything like that. They round everything off, but at the same time, it's not a magic carpet ride. It's kind of a sporty ride to them at the same time, which is what I want in a sporty tyre. So I'd say ride comfort is absolutely perfect for the type of tyre they are, i.e. a high-performance, summer-focused tyre. Next one, uh, braking grip. Absolutely phenomenal, massive forces. I mean, you get massive forces in normal driving, just driving down a country road, mountain pass, you can get huge forces going through the, the car. And then when you trigger the ABS, I mean, you're on a different level again. I'd say, basically, very keyed in, massive forces, excellent braking, excellent braking grip. Acceleration grip. Okay, it's a front wheel drive car with a, supposed to be around 300 brake. Traction is never going to be amazing, short sure, sticking some Mickey Thompson radials on it. But having said that, even with the traction control on, the limit is quite high before the traction control comes in. You're getting a lot of forward motion. I'd say acceleration traction is good. So with regards to turning, they're not the brightest tyre, but then again, this is not the brightest chassis. So I'd say all things considered, grip is, is good. It, I mean, you don't get the full load immediately. I mean, there's a fraction of a second delay. But I don't have any issues with this car with uh, regards to confidence that it's not going to stick. And then that brings me on to corner and grip in general. Uh, massively high limits. Not something I think is ever going to be a problem on the country road. Okay, maybe 0.001% of the time you've got a fantastic road, fast corners, plenty, excellent visibility and then you can really you know, treat it like a track if you like. But for 99.99% of the time I'd say you know, the cornering limits are, are so high it's just, just not, not going to be an issue on the, on the, on the public road I think. Because the cornering balance, honestly this is not something I ever considered to talk about with a, with a tyre. But tyre reviews talk about it, so I'll say something about it, and I'll say that there's been, I have noticed any difference in the balance between these tyres and the tyres that were on it before. With regards to noise, for me there's three volume levels of tyres, below what I would expect, what I'd expect, and louder than I'd expect. These tyres are definitely what I would expect for a normal tyre. They're not whisper quiet like say an Eco Contact 6 might be. But they're not loud like a track day tyre would be either. So I'd say the volume of the tyres, the noise that they make is normal. General impressions of the tyres, as you can probably tell by now, I like them a lot. If they've got the wet weather and cold weather performance, I think it's a slam dunk because the uh, the summer performance is absolutely um, you know for a for a road tire for a summer tire i think that the the performance in the summer hot dry conditions is epic they work well straight from the off when there's no temperature and they work well when there's heat in them as well and i'm talking road temperatures here not track temperatures so all in all fantastic fantastic tire big limits uh gives loads of confidence uh, nice to use, not noisy, and uh, gives a nice comfortable ride. Basically everything on them is, is fantastic. I can't really think of anything to fault them on at the moment so far in the conditions I've tested them on. So that's the video guys. If you're wondering what the Pilot Sport 5s were like uh, in hot and dry conditions, hopefully this review's uh, given you some idea. If you found it helpful, please like, please subscribe. 
look after yourselves and I'll see you again in the next video. Please forgive me.